Welcome back to Guitar Theory Modules. This is module 39 and we're on pages 107 and 108. You learned how to play triad arpeggios in modules 13, 16, 18, and 20. Now that you're learning about different types of seventh chords, it's time to learn seventh chord arpeggios, starting with dominant seven arpeggios. In earlier modules where you learned triad arpeggios, you saw flat threes, flat fives, and sharp fives in the diagrams. The flat three was for minor third, the flat five was for diminished fifth, and the sharp five was for augmented fifth. In these diagrams, you're gonna see flat sevens. A seven in non-classical music would indicate a major seventh, a flat seven is a minor seven, and since we're doing dominant seven arpeggios, which have minor sevens, you're gonna see flat sevens in the diagrams. I'm gonna start off showing you some arpeggios you can play starting on the sixth string. I'm gonna play all the arpeggios in this lesson starting on the fifth fret, but you should play these all over the fretboard. So here's a dominant seven arpeggio you can play starting on the sixth string with your fourth finger. This is gonna be an A7 arpeggio because I'm starting on the low A, string six, fret five. Fingering for this is four, three, one, four, one, one, four, two, four, and back, two, Four, one, one, four, one, three, and four. And we can call those by their function. The roots you can either label as one or just call them root. I will call them either one in this lesson. I'm gonna start by calling them roots. That would be root, three, five, flat seven, root, three, five, flat seven, root. And back the other way, flat seven, five, three, root, flat seven, five, three, and root. And here's another dominant seven arpeggio you can play starting in the sixth string, this time with the second finger. Again, this will be an A7 arpeggio because I'm starting that first note on the low A, string six, fret five. Fingering for this is two, one, three, but I'm gonna have to move over one fret to play this three. And then one, three, two, one, four, one. And back to four, one, two, three, one, three, now scoop back to the left to your original position, one and two. Chord labels, one, three, five, flat seven, one, three, five, flat seven, one, and back. Flat seven, five, three, one, flat seven, five, three, and one. Now let's take a look at some dominant seven arpeggios starting on the fifth string. These are all gonna be D seven arpeggios because I'm gonna be starting on the fifth string, fifth fret. But again, practice these arpeggios all over the fretboard. Here's a dominant seven arpeggio starting on the fifth string with your fourth finger. That'll be finger four, three, one, four, two, one, four, and back. One, two, four, one, three, and four. Root, three, five, flat seven, root, three, five, back to three, root, flat seven, five, three, and root. You can also play this dominant seven arpeggio starting on the fifth string, second finger. Again, this will be a D seven arpeggio because I'm placing my finger on that D, string five, fret five. Fingering is two, one, finger three, but make sure you shift to the right one fret, 
one, three, three, one, four, back to one, three, three, one, three, finger one shifting back to the left, and finger two. We can also call these notes by their function. That'll be one, three, five, flat seven, one, three, five, flat seven, back to the fifth, to the third, one, flat seven, fifth, third, and one, or root. Here's a dominant 7 arpeggio you can play starting on the 4th string. This one travels around a little bit. Starts with the 2nd finger, and I'm starting on the 5th fret, so this would make this a G7 arpeggio, but again, play these all over the fretboard. This one starts on finger 2, moves to finger 1, shift over for finger 3, shift over again for finger 1, finger 3, shift over again for finger 1, finger 4, and back to finger 1, finger 3 shifting to the left, 1, finger 3 shifting to the left, 1 shifting to the left, and 2. By function that would be root, 3rd, 5th, flat 7, root, 3rd, 5th, Back to third, root, flat seven, the fifth, third, and the root again. I'm going to show you two ways you can practice these arpeggios, and if you've already worked through the modules with the triad arpeggios, 13, 16, 18, and 20, this is going to look familiar. If you want to focus on muscle memory, you can take one chord shape and move it up and down the neck. So let's say we're going to play this D flat 7 starting on string 5 with the 4th finger. We start there and then move it up the fretboard to a D. Make sure you name the root note as you go, so that would be a D7. Then up to an E flat 7 and so forth, up as high as your fretboard allows. Let's say you work up to the 12th fret, that would be an A7. And from there, head down, A flat 7. All the way back to your original D flat 7 arpeggio. Another way you can practice arpeggios is to pick one note and do all the arpeggio shapes starting on that note. So let's say we want to do some A7s. We could start playing an A7 on the 6th string, 4th finger. Then we could do this other 6th string shape starting on the 2nd finger. From there we could move to this A that's on the 4th string. Do our four string arpeggio. Then we could move up to the twelfth fret for our fifth string A or A7 arpeggios. Starting with the fourth finger. And then if you can reach it, gonna be a little tricky on this guitar, you could do on the second finger. It's going to be a little easier if you have an electric guitar with a cutaway. Your assignment for this module is to add dominant 7 arpeggios into your practice routine. This is going to be a lifelong assignment, so feel free to move right on to module 40. Don't forget to check out my book, Guitar Theory Modules. Of course, you can watch all these videos for free, but if you have a copy of Guitar Theory Modules, you'll have all this information in one place. It's going to be a lot easier to follow along. So I'll leave a link for that in the description. Take your time with this, and when you're ready, I'll see you in module 40, where I'm gonna show you major seven chords. Mm -hmm.